Hey, we're back on Mortgage Resource TV, and we're gonna make this quick, because I have a Jimmy John's I need to go eat downstairs. It's probably being delivered right now. Refinancing, it's what everybody's talking about. Why are people doing it? It baffles my mind. Rates are at all time lows. Let's chat about the options. Welcome back to Mortgage Resource TV. Right, if there's one thing I do know, it's that people like to save money. Yeah, that makes sense. Everybody likes to save. I like to save money. I like to save money. Do you like to save money? Because right now, mortgage rates are pretty much at the lowest they've ever been. And I gotta wonder why people haven't started to refinance more often. I mean, if you can save two or three or four hundred dollars a month, do you know what that can do for your life? It doesn't make any sense. So we stop to think about it. There's only really two main reasons people have not refinanced yet. Either one, they feel they don't qualify. Wait, 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 what do you mean they don't qualify? There's harp, there's streamlines. We'll get into that. Or number two, they feel the hassle of doing a loan is just not worth the benefit. And I don't understand that part either, Ryan. I mean, the hassle versus the benefit, you do a little bit of paperwork, it's, a, it's paperwork. But if you're saving two or $300 a month, what does that work out to hourly? Think about it, I mean, do you have kids? Maybe you wanna to go to Disneyland. Maybe you wanna go on to Hawaii. If you save three or four hundred dollars a month, guess what? It pays for it. And not just one time, Done. every year. Or if it's you or me, hey, guess what? Pays for your season Seahawks tickets. Sold. Or maybe a couple extra rounds of Sold. golf. Done. Done. So again, the biggest challenge to that is great to say two or three hundred dollars a month, but what about the cost? Well, I know right now banks will actually pay for your closing costs because they want good loans. So in fact, it might not cost you anything. And this isn't rolling it in. So this is, say two or three to four dollars a month that doesn't cost you anything? Not a thing. Bank will pay for it. So the benefit's obviously there. Mm. But what about qualifying, Ryan? I mean, you're kind of the loan guy on this team. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, again, when you do a refinance, you definitely have to qualify in the traditional three, credit, employment, and assets. But a lot of new programs have come out over the last 12 to 24 months that's actually helping people qualify where maybe they couldn't qualify otherwise. Like HARP or FHA Streamline. All of these different programs. And if you have equity, guess what? You yeah. can still refinance. It's not totally out of the question just because you don't qualify for a government program. But Ryan, not everybody's qualifying for these government programs. I mean, HARP was supposed yeah. to be the angel savior. Now, it's not working quite as well as they hoped. Well, again, we had HARP, one that helped hundreds of thousands of people, not the tens of millions it was supposed to help. Now we have HARP 2, which is really helping a lot of people. So right, I mean, HARP, like I said, it's supposed to be a big deal, but there's restrictions. HARP came out directly to help people who were, were underwater on their mortgages. So HARP has helped millions of Americans so far take advantage of the program and refinance even if they're underwater, but there has been some restrictions. So HARP hasn't worked out exactly as planned, but hey, it's, it's a shot that's out there. It's worth a try. People under a call and see what they can do to help you out. Yeah, not only HARP, I mean, what about FHA? Like I mm. said, that uh. didn't even have benefit for the last few years. People tried and they wouldn't even allow it because FHA had some pretty screwball guidelines. So that's a big one, Ben. So FHA, starting on June 11th, is coming out and really waiving the two biggest things that were affecting people refinance their FHA mortgages. Number one, they're eliminating upfront mortgage insurance premiums or significantly reducing them. And number two, your mortgage insurance premium is gonna stay the same. So a lot of people who Wait, refinance- Wait, so that means that your upfront costs are less, but your monthly payment will actually go down and your mortgage insurance isn't gonna go up. Exactly. So this is huge. This is what FHA borrowers have been waiting for for years. So like Ben said, payments go down, rate goes down, cost is pretty much zero. Yeah, in fact, you can refinance with the exact same loan amount you currently have. You don't have anything go up. Government finally got something right. Finally. Well, you know what? If you're looking to figure out how you can qualify for any of these programs and save three, $400 a month, buy your plane tickets, go to baseball games, get Seahawks tickets, maybe even go golfing. I know that's what Ryan likes to do. Always. Then you can visit our website and you can find out how you can actually qualify for some of these programs. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time on Mortgage Resource TV. A couple extra rounds of Sold. golf. Done. Done. Is that it? I don't know. He was. He just was yelling, "Done at me."
Let's get a clap. Carrots in my teeth. <laughs> Welcome back to Mortgage Resource TV. We're gonna make this quick because I just ordered a Jimmy John's and I gotta get downstairs and eat it pretty soon. Did you know how low <laughs> rates are and how few people are refinancing? Yes, I do. I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> That's funny.